Jackson held his pro day in Louisville Thursday. All 32 teams were in attendance, trying to get one last gauge on what exactly they would be getting from the former Heisman winner. What they got yesterday was 59 passes. Lamar did not run the 40. He did take snaps under center. Analysis, according to an ESPN.com article, said he had good footwork and mechanics. Was not perfect. He overthrew receivers, but he improved later on in the session. Our own Andre Ware, he won the Heisman too, asked Jackson what he wanted to prove at his pro day. Oh, approve, you know, I can throw in the pass from under center. You know, um, I guess, you know, my center helped me out a lot. You know, he came down right. from Florida, came down, helped, my, um, helped me out to buy you Hughley. Um, I just thought I needed to show them guys I could throw each ball, you know, from center. That's Good all. stuff. There have been some naysayers, obviously, and you've heard the critics and things of that sort. Do you think after a performance like this that you finally put those things to rest? Well, you know, no matter what you do in life, you know, it's going to always be naysayers. No, no matter if you, you know, prove them wrong or whatever, they're going to still have negative comments. But I just felt, you know, I came out and showed them guys I could play for Money Center. More on this on First Take right now. That's the truth. So according to Monday Morning Quarterback, teams having a hard time getting anyone from Lamar Jackson's camp to return phone calls because he doesn't have an agent and his mom's currently acting as his manager or momager. Stephen A., is Lamar Jackson helping or hurting his draft stock with this? Uh, he's hurting himself, period, overall. Uh, let me say this. Lamar Jackson is a stud. Uh, over 3,600 yards passing with 27 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, over 1,600 yards rushing. I think he averaged nearly seven yards a carry. The kid is special. He's a special talent who I believe should be an NFL pick, arguably a first round as far as I'm sorry. I think he should be a first round pick. <coughs> Having said all of that, um, listen, we've got people who represent themselves and some would argue uh, you shouldn't be your own agent or whatever the case may be. I don't know his mom's qualifications. Here's what I do know about loving mothers. Mothers are going to support you no matter what, through hell and high water. And rarely, if ever, do they possess a level of objectivity about you. Now, some would argue that's what an agent is supposed to be like themselves. But when it's your mom, obviously, that reality is elevated exponentially. And so when we take that into consideration, just think about going to a negotiating table, Max, and you're an executive sitting across from the mom of a potential player you're trying to you sign on board. Make it sound like board. a good idea. Well, 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 well listen, excuse me, yeah, yeah, I understand that, but until you sit up there and it's like, how are you going to tell him, look, he can't do this, he ain't worth that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no argument. There's no objective business argument that you're capable of having with somebody's mother. I think that's a very precarious position for Lamar Jackson to be in, and I don't like it at all. Look, um, it's called show business, not show family, for a reason. And it's the same thing with Kawhi's uncle or whomever, right? You, you know, Eli Apple and Annie Apple, you, you, you think, not that she represents him, but you think, Get an agent, get a professional who, you, as you said, has experience and can remain objective in terms of not about you. Oh, sure, I don't care about the client, but about the circumstances so that he can get you the best deal or she can get you the best deal. But the fact of the matter is Lamar Jackson's, uh, Lamar, ja it, 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 Lamar Jackson's uh, stock is on the rise. And it's on the rise because before the draft, quarterback stocks are always on the rise. The question to ask here is, why does his have to rise so much in order for him to be considered maybe a first-round pick? The game tape on him is really good, and he's not a skinny guy as perceived, apparently. A bigger, stronger guy is what they're finding out. Now, I, and I think that's racial. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Um, the, there is a, a, a kind of bias in terms of the evaluation of African-American quarterbacks, often it seems to me where they're good college quarterbacks, but not necessarily they're going to translate on the next level because they rely on their legs too much is what you hear. Now, by the way, in this case, it may be true. I also did not get the sense watching him in college where he was this sensational quarterback that he was going to be a sensational pro quarterback. I did get the sense from Deshaun Watson last year, and I thought, why is he so low in the draft? Deshaun Watson's the best guy in the draft. He should go number one. Like, why is he going so low? I don't have the sense here. But it is, it is interesting that suddenly you hear about Josh Allen and the top four quarterbacks, none of them are Jackson, and his game tape is as good as anyone's, and his stock has to rise in order to be in the top 15. Uh, and I'm unconvinced that that's not 
somehow seen through a racial lens, whether people realize they're doing that or not? Well, racial lens or no racial lens. Listen, when you can't get in touch with somebody, you can't talk to them, you can't do all the things that they customarily do before deciding on whether or not to draft, that's bad enough. But yeah. when you hear that his mom is representing him, it's a problem. Yeah, Stephen A., one Bravo. thing I just want to add to that, because I totally agree with you, and it's unacceptable to not be able to reach him on the phone, but here's where I sort of get it. Agents often aren't trustworthy, and they often act like double agents. So I get the concept of wanting a family member from that aspect, like they actually have your best interest at heart. All right, well, then have them in the room while the, or have the, you know, have, have the agent, but have the relative in the room with the agent. But just to have the relative, I'm just saying, where you're yes. the go-to person for everybody. Uh, listen, the best here, ability is availability, and they're saying he's not available. That does not make him Here the good. point is, the agent would want Lamar Jackson to go as high as possible, right? So he, they would tend to know the ins and outs through experience of how to position the client that way, probably better than the client, than, than the player's parents does right. and I'm not being critical of the of the lady the wonderful lady that is Lamar Jackson's mom I'm just talking generically a a family member no matter what being yeah. the one uh, but, but especially a mom because listen I, I happen to believe in my heart no one loves you more than mama no one know. loves you more than mama I so think, it's, it's not just a relative it's mama about that <laughs> it's my, okay that's right that's mama all right mama. Guys. Gotta leave it there. Point heard. Coming up. You talking about my boy? Is like that? Michael Jordan the most influential player to ever play the game? Somebody at the desk says no? Find out after the break. He's the best.